we we're going to talk about OpenAI getting their funding. They're now at a valuation of 157 billion. New funding to scale the benefits of AI. So we are making progress on our mission to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefits all humanity. Every week, over 250 million people around the world use ChatGPT to enhance their work, creativity, and learning. I, I, just mind blowing. <laughs> how, how many people are hitting their hitting your site right now, uh, and how small they are? I wonder um, how much they'll see a jump from this um, voice mode. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. I would expect it would be because every time they, they create a new uh, way of interacting with their software that requires less know how, like it started with using API. Well, only Joe Trinasky and like ten of the richest kings of Saudi Arabia know how to use API. And then they said, okay, we'll do chat GPT. Oh, well, everyone knows about chat. And then now you're going to do voice, which is just you know, people who don't even know how to use a keyboard or don't know how to speak the language can get access to this. So uh, there should be a jump. Um, and I, 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 have to, I, read, I read a quote where they're saying they're going to give access to this new advanced vo voice mode for free to some to chat GPT users or some, some – What? Place. I don't know if it's for a limited time. It might be like a limited time or something. Get That's true, yes. Um, but yeah. So anyways. They should reserve some of these features for paying customers. That's what they need. Well, they their goal eventually is to take this from tw they want to increase it from twenty bucks a month to twenty two bucks a month by the end of this year or what this year, and then eventually, <laughs> years hence, they want to eventually get to forty four bucks a month. Like they look at this as one of their pri prime revenue generators, and we'll go down into those numbers later on in the Gotta show. Pay Sam Altman's share. Yeah, render unto Sam one of Sam's. Um, um, I'm super excited about this voice mode because it seems. Like you said, uh, really nice for people who aren't used to sitting at a keyboard or they're not able to or their hands are busy because they're doing some activity. It has all kinds of really interesting use cases, and it feels like a small step to you're talking to chat GPT uh, with both voice and video as if you're in a Zoom meeting with this thing. Mm -hmm. And it's just not only representing its voice, but also rendering its face and its background. And that's going to be super crazy. Once it feels like you're talking to a person on FaceTime or in Zoom, yeah. then you can imagine people overlaying it as a doctor or a lawyer or some other, you know, professional. Right. Yeah. That, that I can't even imagine what that, what that's going to allow for people to do. And maybe it's going to increase trust because now they get to see a little, little person or something like that. Um, there's of course just so many different things you can use it for. I'm thinking of video games too, making it much more interactive with the NPCs. Um, it's going to be fun. So uh, they said they raised $6.6 .6 in new funding at $157 billion post money valuation to accelerate the progress. The new funding will also double down our leadership in frontier AI research, increase compute capacity, and continue building tools to help people solve hard problems. Um, they still have they have $13 billion, um, that they raised from Microsoft, which is a mixture of compute plus money. And they still haven't gone through all that, too. So they, they're definitely loading up the war chest. Um, we, may, we aim to make advanced intelligence widely accessible resource. We're grateful to our investors for their trust in us, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> I, so the other news is that sales, uh, I'm sorry, not Salesforce, uh, SoftBank is in. 500 million, yep. And Apple is out, right? Yes, and I wonder why Apple got cold feet last moment. That was kind of weird. Besides the crazy valuation? Probably, but when they're looking- at the crazy mm, amount of money? Yeah, but also looking from a strategic angle, they're probably like, hey, we want to at least put some money in here because we're going to be integrating their models into Apple into one of the models you can use. So maybe it's good that we actually have some skin in the game there. If I was Apple, I'd be looking at the Llama series of models and I'd mm -hmm. be thinking, okay, how long before I can run these Llama models on my own cloud servers and run a distilled version on my devices? And do I need to work with OpenAI at all outside of just their brand name? Exactly. Trying to cut out the middleman as soon as possible. And then- That's I, Apple, right? They're yep. going to grab whatever open source software they can. Mm-hmm. Yep, that, that's, that definitely is a smart move. And uh, we're going to go later into just you're seeing how with OpenAI's, the amount of revenue they're generating, they're generating far much more money from their uh, 20 bucks a month subscription than they are from API calls. Yeah, so, that's also really weird. Yeah, and we're going to go into that too. And so Do I we they, know the growth rate of the enterprise side? Um, I don't, we'll look into the financials. I don't, I, don't, I don't have it specifically, but we'll see what we can find. Um, but I think if, if you look at it that way, the API is very commodity. You know, right now, I'm 
while all the open AI drama is going on, you got Logan, who is the uh, DevRel from Google. Like, hey, don't forget oh, us. Uh, we're lo- we're lowering the price on Gemini models, and the API is getting cheaper. And everyone's like, hey, yeah, great. <laughs> it, it, but it just shows that like that side's so commoditized. I think OpenAI realizes that the closer they can get direct access to the user and build a relationship, share share memories, things like well, that. Sam is Sam is just beating them on the branding side so mm-hmm. badly. Yeah. Exactly. And we just, they're just keeping the spotlight on, which is great. So let's go to um, this New York Times story. Um, OpenAI is also, it's such, it's full of drama. Uh, OpenAI is growing fast and burning through piles of money. Like, it's like, they, they're so negative in here. And they later on help explain also, we're suing them. So we're kind of, you know, we're not, we're not, we're oh, not, they're not getting a totally objective take. Exactly. Also, look at this. What guy. are you saying, Jordan? I can't I, believe you'd be so negative on our, our big media company. Uh, no, these are they're, they're virgin queens here. They're so unbiased. They're perfect. Also, this weird handlebar mustache this guy has here. I'm not feeling it. That guy looks scary. He does look scary. So, uh, OpenAI's monthly revenue hit 300 million in August, up 1700% since the beginning of 2023. And the company's expect- monthly revenue of the New York Times. Oh, God. Uh, uh, monthly revenue of new. Because they think they're a tech company, right? That's right. They're they're Wordle. That's what they are, though. <laughs> you know, Wordle is uh, God fan- damn it. fantastic. I never even Wordle. thought. Let's see. Um, We're gonna have ChatGPT generate the code for a Wordle clone. That's what. We, that's what during one of do. our OpenAI demos, and just make fun of you. <laughs> Pretty much, that'll, that'll work. Uh, New York that Time- should be the new. That should be the new way of just owning somebody. We during the demo we have our our LLM generate your product. Oh, that 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 would be salt in the wounds here. Just to like put yeah. the knife in. Right. New York Times reports financial results on an annual basis. Here's a breakdown: the company's annual revenue for the past five years, two point four billion dollars, um, in twenty twenty three. So mm-hmm. that works out to what two hundred? Uh, yeah, that's that? around two hundred two hundred million, million yeah, a, yeah. a month. Yeah. So there you Interesting. go. Interesting. Yep rivalry so next year i'm pretty sure opening AI is going to be outpacing the new york times yes yes exactly and then another thing opening AI estimates that its revenue will balloon to uh, 11.6 billion dollars next year um so if people think the valuation of 156 billion is expensive th- they expect them themselves to basically triple revenue next year so there is still mm-hmm. more room there to go. go go here um Let's see here. Opening eyes revenue in August more than tripled from a year ago, according to documents, and about 350 million people. Ah, up- the New York Times market cap is 9.1 billion. Mm. Oh, God. So uh, Open AI has got them beat by what, 16, 17x already. Yikes. Well, as far as valuation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, they could the- buy you. That's pretty, embarrassing. Yeah, that's what, that's the worst one. Jeff Bezos is like, okay, we've just you know we're gonna we're gonna buy you Washington Post because tech is enough to destroy your business. Um, the company expects ChatGPT to bring in two point seven billion in revenue this year, up from seven hundred million in twenty twenty three, with one billion coming from other businesses using its technology. Roughly ten million ChatGPT users pay the company twenty dollars a month fee according to documents opening expects it to raise that price by two dollars by the end of the year and will aggressively raise it to 44 over the next five years document said more than one million third-party developers use open AI technology to power their own services okay let's go hmm. to this guy over here tanya's newsletter tanae's newsletter he broke down all the financials um and he's looking at revenue breakdown so this is looking at the percentage of revenue and the gray, light gray is uh, chatbot revenue, and the dark gray is API usage, and left is OpenAI is anthropic. So OpenAI mm-hmm. is making 73% of their revenue from that $20 a month, mm-hmm. um, compared to Anthropic, which is making f- only 15% of the revenue. But yep. if you look at API revenue, Anthropic is making 85%. And OpenAI is What's Anthropic's one. monthly revenue? Uh, they are right now, their revenue run rate for the year is going to hit 800, between $800 million to a billion. So then you're looking at what sixty, seventy million dollars a month compared to OpenAI's three hundred million per month. Um, it's closer than I expected. I didn't think Anthropic was making that much money a month. Yeah, uh, me too. And so, but I think I would say for this part of the game, the way Google is just cranking on trying to make these the APIs cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. I would say Anthropic is, we hope you enjoyed the episode. If you'd like to see the full episode, become a YouTube channel member or head to patreon.com forward slash SVIC and support our show to get access to the episode. Thanks.